that I don't think happens often enough. These are fabulous opportunities to uh, reacquaint ourselves with people that we know really well and to meet others. And I really hope that you maximise the opportunity to be in each other's company today. When um, I came to know the Leadership Victoria team, I thought, well, what are we doing for women? So this is when I talked to Josie and we decided to start these occasional lunches where women from all parts of society in Melbourne come together, exchange ideas, and have an inspirational speaker that will show them how to be leaders. I was up in a country town recently. I was invited to present the inaugural staff awards at a health service. And some people were getting awards just because they'd done a first aid course. But one young woman, she went up to get her award which was to celebrate her becoming a fully registered Division I nurse. And her manager whispered in my ear, she said, Beth, she used to be the cleaning lady at this hospital. So her manager sat her down, tapped her on the shoulder, and said, how would you like to be a nurse? And now, the hospital has got a fantastic local nurse who will stay there. She's got a terrific career ahead of her. That's what I call visionary leadership and it makes a difference. It's not a huge scale thing, but if as leaders you can inspire people who work for you in management to take that kind of proactive role, you'll have a much better organisation. A formal education for me was just the best thing in my whole life and I'll never ever underestimate it. And that puts me in mind of Malala Yousaf, whom some of you will already know about and have read about. She was shot in the head by a Taliban sniper because she was, she was an outspoken advocate of education for girls. She was shot in the head on her way to school, in the school bus. She survived. She's now in London, and on her 16th birthday, Malala addressed the United Nations. Malala is already an inspirational leader, and she and others like her are our future. So um, I urge you to support those young women uh, in their struggle to get to where we're at. Thank you. Women don't have enough opportunity to, to see inspirational women and to hear how they've been educated and what they've done in their lives. And I think it's also a way of young women meeting each other across different fields because everybody's working so hard in, in their particular field and they come here and they, they meet a whole lot of other people and it inspires them. There's not many places in Melbourne you can go to hear an inspirational woman leader, so I think it's very important we continue these series. This is uh, an example of what I think Leadership Victoria does better than anybody, and that is its ability to bring together uh, really interesting, um, alert, lively, honest people who, have, who bring their life experiences and, and just share it in the sort of environment where quite clearly they're, they're relaxed, They'll take tough questions, they'll be honest about what they say, and they do it in the spirit of um, a wonderful combination of entertainment and education. So it's, um, it's, it's not only just an opportunity to network and to hear a fabulous speaker, you never come away from an event like this knowing less, you come away with lots of other questions that you hope you keep getting answers to.